everybody welcome back if you're new here hi I'm Mercury welcome to my channel it's my daily vlog so whatever I'm up to is what you're gonna see here today I have a great mostly outdoor activity so I am here at the Bronx Zoo here's the zoo map so I got um, so on Wednesdays for as long as I can remember Wednesdays has been free zoo day so in the past you could just come in it you know and get your zoo ticket but in covid land you do have to get your zoo ticket in advance and the way it works on free zoo day is mondays at 5 p.m they unlock the tickets for that wednesday and you can get your free zoo ticket on monday at five so that's what i did and now it's wednesday and i'm here so we're gonna go and enjoy the zoo now it is worth noting that the free zoo ticket is the base admission there are other like premium exhibits that are not included but you can pay the add-on for it so let's go see the zoo so i was meandering along and i looked up and i saw the rhino statues that have these beautiful wreaths around them so all of their holiday decor is still up it looks like so happy holidays mr and mrs rhino but quite festive so I found this sign for the African Lantern Trail. I was unaware that this was here. It's here November 19th through January 9th, so it's almost done. But here's a barcode if you want more info. And let's see what's down here. Oh, do you see them? They, they are ferocious and roaring and stalking prey. It is lion lanterns. Those are actually really, really detailed. There's a lot of shading on these. This is pretty cool. As we turn, we continue down into the savanna where, uh-oh, uh-oh, they are stalking the savanna. Uh-oh. Excuse me, excuse me, lionesses. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna sneak by. I'm just gonna go visit the savanna animals over here. Uh oh, they're cheetah there too. Ooh. This is incredible though. These are all lanterns. They look so good. Look at these. Hello, zebra. Or zebra. And here are the cheetahs. Look at that. Is this an agape? I think that's what they're called. They're, they're the ghost of the forest. And they have like the zebra back end. Hello. So usually this area along the lantern trail is where the rhinos live. But it looks like they are indoors right now. Because it is too cold to be a rhino in New York. Not for nothing. It's too cold to be a human in New York. Well, it's not, it's not terrible today. But it... I don't blame the rhino... I don't blame the rhinos for not wanting to be out here. I heard a sea lion make his ur -ur cry in the distance. So I'm, I'm following the cry of the sea lion to see the sea lion. Hello, sea lions. Look at you guys. Look, he has his flipper draped over the edge. He's just chilling there. This one down here seems to have a stick. See? He's swimming around with a stick. But like not like a tree stick, like a magician stick. And this guy is just totally knocked out. He is tired. He's like, it is chilly. I am just gonna hang on here and nap. This peacock is just looking for snacks. It's like, your loss is my gain, and I will nibble on the french fries. Yeah, because he's just, he's at the picnic area. So the Dancing Crane Cafe is one of the only food options open right now. There are a few others throughout the park, but this is the main one. And they have like basics, they have like burgers and hot dogs and paninis and chicken fingers and things along those lines. Um, I checked the menu ahead of time and there was nothing that I was able to eat so I brought my lunch today. But I'll show you the menu. So they have chicken tenders for $10.49, hot dog and fries $12.59, single hot dog, uh, 
double double cheeseburger $12.99, personal pizza $9.99, and a veggie panini $9.99. They also have snacks like popcorn, zeppelis, churros, things like that. Also, I don't know if it's because of this renovation that's going on right now, or because of COVID, or both, but the only seating for dining is outdoors. There are these covered areas. I'm sorry about the banging, they're, they're doing the renovations. But there are covered areas for, for dining. So one of the premium add-ons that you can get is the bug carousel. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a carousel, but instead of horses, it's little bugs that you ride. Well, not little, big bugs, big bugs. We'll see them as they go by. There's some grasshoppers, some pill bugs, a ladybug, praying mantis. Yeah, so you could ride those. So we have a decision to make. We have come to a fork in the road. We can either meet this peacock, hello peacock, who seems to be coming from the mouse house the gorilla forest or the giraffe area or we could go this way which is not where the peacock was to the baboon reserve and the bears i do not have admission to the the gorillas so let's go check out the bears and the baboons first and we'll loop around here are some more of those life-size lanterns that we've been seeing so i did want to mention that there is an after hours event where it's all lit up so there's christmas lights these life-size animals are lit up and they seem to be spread out throughout the whole zoo so i don't know if or what exhibits are open during that after hours event but it, it would certainly just in and of itself be a beautiful thing to walk around and see. I can only imagine these things when they're lit up at night. So as I was heading to the baboons and the giraffes, I'm taking a little detour because over here is Tiger Mountain and the Himalayan Highlands. So we're going to check that out on the way. And first up, we have found the brown bear. And there they are. There's two of them just chilling. They're enjoying the weather. They have a lot of fur, so they're comfy. They're doing well. They have their rocks, and they are enjoying the day, just like me. Well, I don't have a rock, but I'm enjoying the day. Here's another angle of the bears. And this one's over here with his rock. It's like a rock pillow. Hey there, bear. I see his nose moving. I think he's like smelling at me. He's like, you smell like human. Like, well, yeah, you smell like bear. So it works out. At the base of the bears is the Dahol, which is a wild dog. And it looks like they are pretty active right now. Look at them go. I found the Himalayan Highlands and the Snow Leopards and the Tragopan are in here. So we're going to go check them out. Look up there, there's the Snow Leopard. He looks like he's trying to get higher, but... I think there's something up there he wants. And this bird is the treggle pan. So this sign is saying that treggle pan in there would be the prey of the snow leopard. Obviously they're in a separate enclosure, but that's why they are nearby in the exhibit. This is when Mercury gets really, really, really excited. See it? He's my favorite. The red panda's right here and he's cleaning himself. He is so cute. So the red panda is my absolute favorite. I always love seeing them. They are so floofy and they, they look sort of like a combination between a bear and a fox, but they are so wonderful and such charming animals. I love them. 
I'm so happy I got to see him. And he was up and he looked at me and I saw his little red panda face. Ah, it was so cute. Now I am headed into Tiger Mountain. I bet they have tigers here. Hello, tiger. Oh my gosh, you're gorgeous. Okay. So this is saying that much like human fingerprints, a tiger's stripes are very unique and every tiger has their own unique stripe pattern. So they have this display set up for kids to learn more about tigers. So these are the bones of prey animals. There's a paw print and some scat. Um, scat is poop, by the way. It's poop. And here are American bison that the zoo helped to save. So there are a whole bunch of bison over here. I want to say it's a gaggle, but I don't think that's what you call bison. I think that's like what you call birds. But there's a whole group of them here. The bison, or the buffalo has Oh look, there's little ones. Are they babies? Little bison. Hello, little bison. Oh, oh. What's going on back there? What's going on? I saw that horse play. Or, or bison play. I saw that bison play. These black-faced ibis are in an outdoor enclosure. So I got to see some, some wild seabirds without going into the aviary. So this is really nice. We have a little waterfall. That guy's got like a leaf in his beak. Sea lions honking behind me. You know, it's all good. Let's go see what the, the sea lions are honking about. I was doubling back on myself because I was heading to the picnic area to eat my lunch and while I was passing by the sea lions I heard quite a ruckus and I went over there and they were super active and super playful so I'm so glad I came back this way when I was here this morning they were all napping like chilling and I mean they were really cool but like they were flipping and honking and <laughs> doing all the sea lion things, so that was great. In this area is s'mores and more. So it looks like you could go over here and get s'mores fixins, and they have attended open fires to actually make s'mores. How cool is that? So the Congo Gorilla Forest is one of the premium exhibits, so it's not included with the free zoo day, but you can purchase it as an add-on to go and see the gorillas. And if you wanted to know what's inside of the Congo Gorilla Forest, it's not just gorillas. They also have the colobus monkeys, they have the okapi, there's mandrills. So all of that in addition to the gorillas. So there's, it's a big area in there. Then just past the Congo Gorilla exhibit is over here, the edge of the forest. So you technically can see gorillas over here. It's just that they're not as common. Like they're, they're heavily concentrated in the Congo. But if you come here, you might, might see a gorilla if they wandered out into this paddock. No gorillas here. Not today. New mask. Who's this? No, it's just me. It's just me. Um, I ate my lunch and I freshened up with a new mask. Um, it's a little drizzly out, so it was getting moist. So figured I'd put on an extra. But, but 
we are about to go and see creatures that don't wear masks because they have beaks and they are pink and you often see them on one leg. Do you know what I'm talking about yet? And we have found the flamingos. Look at that. They're digging around in the water for some nom noms. Enjoying the day. Apparently they're very good friends with the ducks. How do flamingos eat? Yeah. Upside down. Flamingos strain tiny plants and animals from the water. Their tongues get their tongues pump water in and out of their mouths. Tiny ridges on their beaks trap the food. Huh. What do you know? Oh my gosh, you guys, there are hyenas in here. There's hyenas like right there. Look at the hyenas. Look at them. They're so big. Look at this guy. I wonder what would happen if I said Mufasa. Am I giving him chills? Mufasa. No, <laughs> they didn't like it, they left. So I was hoping to see some drafts today, but it looks like the drafts are only indoors and I'm not doing the indoors exhibits. But I mean, if you came here and you want to see the drafts, you can. They just have an indoor home right now. But, but, right over there, right over there. Zebras or zebras, depending on your pronunciation. There they are. There's the zebras. They're just trying to get their chill on. But yeah, we got some zebras out. There's a camel back there. I'm not sure if she's gonna come out or not, but there is a camel right there. Oh, oh, she might be coming this way. She might be heading this way. Yeah, yeah, she's coming to see us. Oh, this is so exciting. Look at her, she's beautiful. She's got this beautiful golden furs. Hello, camel. Hello. Oh, you're coming to say hi. You know you have adoring fans here. You're like striking a pose. You're great. When I'm here during the on season, this back here is my favorite thing to do. This is the monorail. It's, it's you know, like a single track, obviously, and the, the seats fit sideways. And you're looking out and you're seeing the animal exhibits as you go by. It's an add-on, it's not included on Free Zoo Day, but I will get the add-on package just to ride the monorail. I love going on the monorail. So if it had been open today, I would have gotten that add-on package, but because I knew it was closed for the off season, I did not. But if you are at the Bronx Zoo during on season, I definitely, definitely recommend the monorail. Here are two beautiful lions. I don't know where he's going. Oh, they're cuddling. They're, they're going to cuddle. It's like, keep me warm, bro. He's like, no. Stop it, dude. And he's like, come on, I'm cold. He's like, I'll bite your ear. It's like, stop biting my ear, dude. Look how cute they are. They're cleaning each other, trying to stay warm. Look at that little baboon family. These little baboons taking shelter on a rainy afternoon. Oh, no, he wants to see what's going on. He's like, I've been sheltering long enough. Hey there. Where are you going, dude? So I had such a great day at the zoo today. There were so many animals and I only did the outdoor exhibits but there was still so much to do. I was here for probably two and a half hours and that was just seeing the outdoor exhibits. 
So if you want to see the indoor exhibits too, you should definitely have lots more time. Um, yeah, I got to see the sea lions. They were so active and playful and doing tricks. I saw my favorite. I saw the red panda. Oh, I love the red panda. And there was a snow leopard. And I saw the hyenas, and they, they were a little frisky, I'm not gonna lie, them hyenas. And I saw some bison. There were so many different animals I got to see today, so it was so wonderful. I also wanted to give a Mercury Pro tip if you are doing outdoor activities in this time of year in New York. I'm very well bundled today. So I have thermal pants under my jeans. I have a thermal shirt, a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, and my jacket on. So I, I, I know that might sound like I'm overdoing it, but it was 45 degrees out today, overcast and it's like misty, and I did not get cold and I was not sweating. I was like perfectly comfortable all day. So, you know, I also tend to run cold. So if you tend to run warm, that might be overdoing it for you, but I'd rather have too much and take layers off than not have enough and have no layers to put on. So layers, layers, layers. That's how you survive New York winters. And with that, I'm gonna head out. I had a truly marvelous time today at the zoo. It was really great to get out and see these animals. So many outdoor options as far as like, like animals to see. Even though a lot of them are inside for the weather, like there are a lot of animals that are warm weather animals and they have to be inside right now. Even still, there were still a lot of animals to be seen. So with that, I am done for today, and I will see everybody tomorrow. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.